your initial thoughts, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Coming into the game, I mean, we had one day to prepare, but uh, I don't know. I don't really think – I didn't think coming into the game that the Oklahoma State game would, uh, would wear on us as much as it did. But, you know, that, that tends to happen uh, when you play a, a game like that that's so emotional and then you, I mean, lose – in just a close game, you have to turn around and play with one day to prepare. Sometimes you come out flat, uh, and that's what we tried to protect against. But, I mean, we couldn't make shots, couldn't guard. We just couldn't do anything right tonight. And rebounding and, and then their penetration as well seemed to really hamper you guys. Yeah, I mean, coaches told us about that. They told us that they had uh, they were the best rebounding team in the, in the Big 12 by a landslide. Um, they told us that they had guards that could get the ball to the rim and transition. Uh, they prepared us, told us everything that we needed to do. I mean, we just failed to go out there and do it. With that in mind, you know, how, with the rebounding numbers in mind, how important was it that your shots did fall and obviously they didn't? Uh, it was very important. I mean, uh, we knew that they could rebound the ball. Uh, we knew that we would have a tough time rebounding the ball just because we've had a tough time all year. Mm. Uh, and then they're the best rebounding team in the Big 12. So we knew it would be tough, um, really counting on making shots. and and guarding well so that we didn't really have to rebound as much. Um, but things didn't go uh, the way we wanted them to, and we didn't really rebound like we needed to. Seemed like maybe a uh, look of disgust maybe is a good way to explain it, how you were looking at the end of that game, just walking off the court. I mean, to go from a game where you were that close to beating the number 11 team to getting blown out by this one, how does it make you view this team and the, the you know path you're going on? Um, I mean, there's no doubt that it's frustrating. Um, I'm not going to get down on my teammates, though. I'm the leader of the team, and I, I take a lot of responsibility for that. I feel like there might be something that, that I could do better to help the team um, as far as getting in, getting the players' heads and letting them know what, what it is that we really need to go out there and do. Um, so I take some responsibility for that. I mean, I'm not going to throw my team under the bus. It was a team effort. I mean, nobody wants to go out there and lose, but, I mean, things happen. Now you have a whole week to get ready for the next one. But what do you guys have to do this week to make sure that you don't have a similar come out flat and all that sort of thing? Uh, well, it starts It starts tomorrow. Well, actually, it starts tonight. I mean, uh, we all need to look ourselves in the mirror um, to see what we did that we, that we weren't supposed to do or something that we didn't do we could have brought to the table. Uh, and then tomorrow we have an off day. We need to get in the gym, shoot the ball, um, just spend some time with our mechanics, uh, doing the things that we need to do to prepare us for the next game. And then in practice, we need to come in with a lot of intensity from the start.